Okay, so you've completed your movie in iMovie, and you can come up here to the upper left corner. There's this little share button, and you click on the share button, and we just want to um, save the file. So we'll click right here on file, and again, this is the zoomed out view. So here's the title. All of this looks good right here. We'll go on to next. And I'm going to save it into my Professor Nordell folder. So say, for example, on the server you have a folder with your name on it. Uh, if you haven't done so, make a Projects folder inside your folder. And then we can just come down here to click Save. And you can see right up here in the corner, uh, it's saving the video. So it's putting all the files together, and it's saving it. This is just an example, so it's a very short video, so it might take uh, longer with one of your actual videos. Okay, now if you have Gmail, it means you have a Google account, which means you already have YouTube. Um, let me just back up here a little bit. Um, and if you don't have a YouTube account, just go to uh, Google, open up a Google account. You don't have to use Gmail, you can just open up a Google account and you have YouTube. So here's my Professor Nordell channel. And if you click right here on Upload, uh, select Files to Upload, you can click right here. And that will, I can just navigate back to my folder, my Projects folder, choose my video, click to open it up. And again, it's a very short video, so it's uploading, uploading rather quickly. Right here is the title. If you want to put in some description right here, this is a pretty important area. Right here, you have uh, the video is public, which I hope you'll do for your class videos. You can also have it unlisted or private. Um, and uh, it takes, you always have to keep this web page open while it's still processing. Um, I'm going to do publish to publish as soon as it's done processing. It says your video is uploaded. And I, if I want to come back to return to editing, I can click right here. And so here, Google automatically chooses some possible thumbnails, which would be the image, you know, when it's the, your, the list of your videos. And so this is basically ready to go. You just double click to save the changes. And I can click right here. And voila, here is my video.